Good late evening just past this beautiful, glowing, stunning sunset in the greater Bloomington metropolitan area in central Illinois on this muggy, uncomfortable, increasingly light evening. This is Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, where you come, that's right, for a one-of-a-kind probability based ah! Oh, good after, good evening in this dark, dark night, right? And real quick on rapid fire before I go to bed, don't forget we have our first ever video on fiscal and monetary policy Fridays debuting at 1 a.m. this morning on a 15-minute introductory into what I believe is coming down the pipe. Oh, yes, wage and price controls in America. If you don't think it can't happen, oh, it can't happen. And indeed has already happened in the distant past. Uh, not too long ago, we had wage and price controls. We're going to get into that deep. Tomorrow is going to be heavily, heavily on fiscal and monetary policy. Our morning radio show has got an extensive oil, crude oil update and U.S. dollar update and inflation uh, talks, concerns and fears and the inflation that we are currently seeing. Uh, if you need update coin videos, you can always donate a small donation to the channel. I will do my morning update and my midday update. Or maybe not my midday update because I'm going to be doing monetary policy. But mid-afternoon or the evening update, the morning update will still happen. I'll still update the gold and stuff. But if there's a specific coin, I'm not going to be rapid fire covering them like I normally do because it's fiscal and monetary policy Fridays. But I will, yes, indeed update you. But if you want to support the channel and request an emergency because you're stuck in a trade that you can't get out of and need some footing and just another opinion, uh, I'm not a financial advisor, nor do I play one on my own radio show. This is strictly educational and entertainment only, but I'd be happy to assist you for a small donation to support the channel. But Bitcoin, you can see we're in this rising wedge. And our pattern says there should be a big, big dump soon. And this rising wedge is running out of steam. You can see it's a bearish continuation pattern and the target would be the bottom of the wedge is your first target, right? And there's been a lot of trading there, so it would make sense. But you could bounce back up here and then bounce down there and then bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce and come up to that 41,900 and change target that we've been eyeing. If we could crawl and scratch and uh, scrape our way back up there only to get knocked down and beat like a... Um, captured uh, Viet Cong uh, to get shot back down to that target, which would be the bottom of the wedge to start, right? And then I think we're gonna eventually, so this is option one, least likely in uh, not, the least likely scenario is you start bouncing back in this range, you get all that support at, uh, what is that, 36,000 at, at the yellow line where we're wicking, and then you squeeze and fight and claw your way back up to get beat down uh, by that overhead 200 bam shot right in the head by the uh, duck hunter isaac's favorite uh, duck hunter hello isaac uh, check out isaac's channel um, check him out as minecraft and then you're going to start trading back down here after running into brief resistance at the bottom of the wedge which would be the first target right um our option two is you can't get any footing and you trade immediately down here tonight and then you start trading, maybe come back up to the overhead 200, the blue line right there, and then start trading on that. See? See, there's Isaac right now. Unfortunately, it sounds like his mother's gonna have to buy him a new phone because he loves those little emojis that you can do faces with shit. And I guess he can't get it on his phone, so sorry. Uh, my sister, you're going to have to buy your son in the near future, probably on his birthday, a better cell phone. Somehow that'll backfire on me because I'll end up having to buy it, right? Sorry. Let's draw something real quick. We're just going to do an extensive uh, Bitcoin video, and you can use this roadmap right here, this guidance that I'm giving you. You can use it for all the coins because all the coins are forming the same. Where am I going? My patterns, here, here, here. So option one is you'll start here. And then you come way up here and get rejected by the overhead resistance, come back down in the wedge, get supported, and then fly up here on a one final push. And then you start coming down to the underneath 50. And then you come back. Oh, fuck. You don't want to come down further. Whatever. You, you come down and get hit by the overhead 50. 
and then uh <laughs> and then fucking um trade down sorry something was funny um right now is option one or option two is uh you know to vow to you <laughs> sorry it's late uh, I smoke some mota. Not the yayo, but the mota. Option two is you just get rejected right now. Uh, but you wouldn't fall straight. There'd probably be a moving average here you know, in like the one hour time frame or something. Come back up and get rejected by the overhead resistance all out of the falling wedge. And then come down here you know, and then start trading over there and then start coming down here. You know. That's option two of what could go on in the most probable situation is uh, that right now the red track is the most likely and most probable the orange track is the least likely and uh uh least probable of happening right because i do think we're eventually coming down as you know oh you know vincenzo if we zoom out see that jabroni <laughs> Oh, I forgot. <laughs> He's a fucked up jabroni killer. He's not even the right color, son. But yeah, that's the jabroni killer, the step bro or the twin brother of the duck hunter that bam shoots down key ducks as they try to fly away over key resistance levels, right? The jabroni killer essentially does the same thing, but he kills a different kind of creature. And that creature is uh jabronis, right? And the jabronis were made. Let me get my perch. I need to perch for this, son. Son, I need to perch. Y'all saying, but well, we're gonna perch from the top of the jabroni's top hat. He likes his top hat, but jabroni, 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 special creature. See that uptrending blue line and that uptrending blue line that is a rising wedge after the blow off top. Bam, and spiking volume. Bam, this was all a bearish uh consolidation. And we deciphered it, sniffed it out, and detected it right here, right here, right here. And emergency cells right all in here. And uh, I wasn't really popular back then, so no one took Vincenzo seriously. But then it crashed down to our first target at 51. Then a little bounce back up against upper resistance out of the old rising wedge. And we sniffed that out and told you we were going to get rejected. And your next target was down here at 41,000. That's why it's still there. But now I've written a bunch of malarkey since then. And then we showed you since where it was going, but this is our long-standing first target. It's twenty thousand dollars, and we've been calling for it since. Hyang, hyang, vow, and now, right? All hyang. We've been consistent saying we were going to go. This was a bearish uh, consolidation, and it was going to crash. And what did it do? It crashed because Vincenzo's gold crypto investing understands how to sidestep the criminal gangster cartel. The yes, the Ohio State University brother. And uh, Jim Harbaugh, if you're out there, like, subscribe, and share, and I will teach you how to sidestep and detect and decipher uh, and beat for the first time in uh, 22 years <clears throat> uh, in a 2020 COVID, can 2020 COVID cancellation. Jim Harbaugh, if you like, subscribe, then you will watch my videos. I could teach you to take down that evil scumbag uh, criminal gangster cartel, the Ohio, yes, the Ohio State University. Uh, and that's what's going on now. Litecoin, it's all the same, just like what I showed you. Take that to the coin of your choice, and that's exactly what you're going to be doing. See, Litecoin's doing it, right? Uh, you got your little res support, resistance, right? Same thing as Bitcoin, uh, XRP. It's been in the same thing since uh, we drew th this out for you. Know, come on, Val, to that, to here, our industry and YouTube famer drawing tool. We drew this right here out for you back here at the start of the holiday week on last week inside the next week or so you could trade up or more sideways and then come up and get rejected right that was possible it's done that so far they don't usually go all the way and that was a pretty good pattern we detected out for you uh and sniffed it out and also when it peaked and nipped its head over and got bam shot by the duck hunter at key resistance on the road monday when i was driving back to uh, the greater blooming metropolitan area we said it's probably going to get rejected is the most probable solution. It's going to come down back to 90 cents, retest, try to come back up here, but it could get rejected. And this is a short-term target 
of uh, 76 cents and we have much much lower targets as i've discussed in prior videos like subscribe and share all of this is going to look the same on whatever coin you have right now peace and love peace and love